And we are continuing to follow the latest reaction to the death of former Fox News chairman Roger Ailes. The controversial CEO died this morning at his home in Palm Beach, Florida, one week after reportedly suffering a bad fall and then falling into a coma. Fox News chairman Robert Mur Rupert Murdoch, excuse me, released this statement saying, quote, Roger and I shared a big idea, which he executed in a way no one else could have. In addition, Roger was a great patriot who never ceased fighting for his beliefs. But he was not universally beloved. Hadass Gold is a media reporter for Politico, and she joins us now. Hadass, how is the media world reacting to his death? Because you can look at Roger Ailes in, in two very different lights, what he did for the media world and then the way he went out of the media world. Right. This man has a very complicated legacy, uh, both in politics and in media and beyond. Um, as you said, and as you read from Rupert's uh, memo, he what is being uh, recognized as really a pioneer in, in television and what he did and what he built uh, is has a huge legacy and has had a huge effect on not only the country's media, but also the politics and beyond. And he helped create and uh, develop a lot of the biggest names in television. But on the other side, you have people who are very upset uh, with not only uh, uh, Roger Ailes's legacy in terms of what he did to the conservative political landscape. Some people believe that he, in, in a way, dumbed down conservatives in a way. Uh, and others are obviously upset over the sexual harassment allegations and don't believe that anybody should be celebrating the life of somebody who uh, harassed women in the way that he allegedly did. His death was announced on Fox News this morning, and it was pretty emotional, as you can imagine. Let's go ahead and take a listen to a portion of that and then get your reaction on the other side of that. Okay, Beth, you are in our thoughts and our prayers. Well. And so is Zachary, their beautiful son. Roger, rest in peace. Hadass, what do you make of their reaction, given how he and, and the company parted ways, just as Dana was saying earlier after a string of sexual harassment allegations? Right. I mean, you do have to keep in mind that for uh, some people in the Fox News room, they claim that they had no in, no knowledge and no indication of what was going on. A lot of people, like I said before, really credit their careers to to this man. And they say without him, they wouldn't be where they are now, that they were plucked out of obscurity and given this huge platform. Uh, and you also have to keep in mind that he does leave behind a wife and, and a pretty young son who's a teenager. And so um, that's also something to be considered as well. And this person, Roger Ailes, literally created uh, with Rupert Murdoch a Fox News out of nothing and built it into what it is today. And that's why you're kind of getting these, these differing reactions. It's a very complicated um, legacy that he is leaving behind. Some people are very upset. This, this person was a mentor to a lot of them. And other people are also still upset over the sexual harassment allegations and what will happen from then out and, and how his legacy will be remembered. And to be sure, every obituary that I've read this morning within the first paragraph, the sexual harassment allegations and how he left Fox News are mentioned. Yeah, it's it's almost the reminder, though, that none of us in, in our worlds it, it don't fall into that black and white category. There's always a gray within, right. within all of our lives. It, we think of him, and you mentioned this, uh, about being a pioneer in television, but before co-founding Fox, we have to look at his impact on the political world. You think of attack ads right away. Yeah. What was that impact? You could really credit, in a, in a way, Roger Ailes with helping to create three Republican presidents. Uh, uh, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and George H.W. Bush. George H.W. Bush actually released a statement uh, praising Roger Ailes, saying he's not perfect, but that uh, he thinks that he really was a great help to his to his career. And it was uh, Roger Ailes who actually sat Richard Nixon down and tried to help him with his television image, which was infamously bad uh, compared to somebody like Kennedy. And he's had a huge effect with politicians understanding how to use the medium successfully. And he was the one who coined in his 1988 book uh, that you really need to be a likable candidate and that people will vote for the person they just like more. What do you think his legacy will be? I think that he will be remembered uh, as a media pioneer. Uh, he'll be remembered for uh, changing the conservative landscape, both in the media and politics. And he'll also be remembered for uh, causing a huge national conversation around the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace. And the fact that uh, somebody who, who seemed so impervious to anything, that it didn't seem like anything could bring him down, was brought down by a woman speaking out. All right, Hadass Gold, thank you so much.